Hi, Virgo, Tarot Twins here. Thank you so much for joining us for your urgent messages from Spirit in regards to your love connection reading. This is going to be a reading using two tarot decks to welcome in some urgent messages you need to hear from the universe and from Spirit, okay? So it can be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We do appreciate you popping over to this segment. Of course, please check out Black Feather's page. She is joining me here today. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Um, for this reading and um, I have linked her page in the description box I've also included both our emails if you'd like a private reading individually or maybe even with the both of us please feel free to shoot one of us an email and we would love to get back to you um, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to the channel and of course to Black Feathers page as well um, and also send through any suggestions Virgo of any readings you'd like to see feel th feel feel free uh, to send them over otherwise we'll get started with you black feather and we'll see what comes up with the right away deck that's right we'll see what messages are coming in for you here in terms of love romance and matters of the heart here so what messages are you being guided to or what is it that you need to know this reading will also pertain to those of you that may be cross watching okay you've got judgment here We've got the Eight of Pentacles as well, the Hangman, and lastly, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of earthly energy here, and I believe we've channeled your energy here. Okay, um, so with Judgment, I feel like for some of you this month, uh, we'll see beginnings or endings in terms of love, relationships, romantic connections. It could be a beginning, a brand new chapter here. It could be the beginning of a romantic relationship. It could be endings as well. But, you know, often nothing really truly ends. Whenever something ends, uh, it sort of ushers in a new beginning. Something begins again. I'm also seeing some sort of message being delivered to you, which I feel like is going to serve as a bit of a wake-up call. This can be emotional awakening here, Virgo, this month, or it could be someone delivers a message to you which gets your attention. I feel like it really gets to your core. It's, it has The message has something to say to you, and I feel like someone here is going to get to the heart of a matter. Someone here is really going to get your attention. I see you standing up straight. You know, your ears perking up. It's really... It's going to get them noticed, perhaps, or something that they say, I feel like, will stick with you. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like, are going to be working or building on something. It could be a romantic connection. It could be a relationship here. But I feel like you're very focused. You're very focused. You're very determined. Um, notice his concentration etched uh, across his face. Uh, there is something here that I feel like is going to require your attention here. I feel like maybe for those of you that are in a romantic relationship, those of you that are in a connection or coupled up, you could find yourself, uh, you know, wanting to really work or cement or even solidify a connection. Some of you could be trying to repair or fix something. Uh, it, for some of you, I feel like there could be an ending to a chapter and therefore also a new beginning. So I see you working very hard. Something here has got your time, your attention here, your energy something or someone i'm also seeing stagnations this month you could possibly be delaying something it may not necessarily be the universe delaying things for you it could be you something here feels stagnated mm. i feel like it's your energy notice how it's edged between um it's wedged between the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles um is virgo stalling something yeah maybe? i feel like they're stalling in making a decision maybe wow. because you know mm. that decision is going to lead to something Something very uh, final or something very drastic, something very big or grand in a way, a beginning or perhaps a new ending. I feel like maybe if you're making the decision or you're wanting to delay it because you're not necessarily sure that you trust the decision or that you trust this is in your best, you know, um, is in your best interest here. Um, it's funny because with the eight, with the seven of pentacles, I get impatience. Whereas with the hangman, I get like, you're not wanting to take any action. Notice how he hangs upside down in an artful manner. Again, the halo that wraps around a head, he is, his head is a reference to the sun. So some, you're going to see something or you're going to see someone in a different light or see a situation differently. But is it because you're going to take a step back? Sometimes, um, hesitating in taking direct action can often lead to a new perception or a new perspective on things and I feel like this is what's happening for you this month you're seeing something that you hadn't seen before had you chose to willfully ignore it was it not there you're seeing something or someone in a different light is it because you're taking on a different pers perspective is it take is it because you're looking at things from a different angle this is interesting so 
something I feel like is being illuminated to you here um, or is being shown to you here. I'm also getting a sense of impatience. It's like you were delaying something and then all of a sudden you grow impatient with it. It's funny because I feel like on some level, weren't you the one that was delaying it? Or that is delaying something here? Mm. Aren't you the one that's stalling things here? I think Virgo knows what they're doing. I think, I think they've got yeah. to figure it out. I think you do, do have to figure it out. But I think you're hesitating though. It's like you're hesitating. And you know, it's like you're not seeing the results you want to see. But you were delaying something here. You were you know, stagnating something here. And then all of a sudden I feel like it's like you want... You know, you want the green light. You want the go-ahead. You want things just to go full speed here. Um, be patient. Be patient. Because... I'm seeing whatever is being delayed will arrive to you, maybe not in the time that you intended, but it will arrive to you in its timely manner. It will come to you when it needs to come to you here. Okay, and these are the messages I have for you. What about you, Felicity Tarot? Drum what roll do you have for over us? Here. Okay, let's have a look. Prisma Tarot, what's coming up for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know here? Okay, page of chalices, the moon. Okay, you've got the queen of cups. Lots of water in these cards and the six of wands. All right, powerful stuff coming through with the cancer and Pisces energy. Um, a lot of emotion on this side. Mm. Okay, you're moving towards love or you're moving towards, you're falling. Um, but I see rising. Okay, she's, there's the notion of falling. Falling in love. Yeah, but I'm also seeing something about taking the bait. Why? Because the page of the page of chalices. Look at him here. It's almost like he's feeding the fish, and the fish is taking the bait. Um, Virgo, you're going to take some sort of bait. Something that is for you. Uh, it's going to attract you. Okay, you're going to be walking towards it emotionally. You're taking the bait. Now, six of wands. Yes, it's a card of victory. Yes, it's a card. It's a bit of a showy card. So something could be for show, I think. All right. Could be coming from a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, possibly Cancer, Pisces. Um, but notice how she's like looking up with, at, at the six of wands, but she almost like she's, she's floating here and like, wow, she comes across the queen of chalices, which is not really expected. Here she is in her boat and then suddenly she's looking up and the queen of chalices emerges and it's almost like unbelievable uh and i think what i'm getting the, the message that i'm getting here for you is that you're going to come across something that may almost seem unbelievable but it's going to bring a big emotional response there's two boats though okay notice this is you and another person i feel you're both going on some sort of journey Whatever this journey is and however you're getting there, Virgo, between yourself and your special person, what I want to say is, is that you're both finding love or you're both moving towards love. You're both taking the bait. So even though you might, you might be going separate ways, I think this is for some of you, the universe wants you to know someone that you have gone separate ways with, that there's still an existing emotional connection. You're actually, your love the attachment, the bond that you once had, the spiritual connection that you once had, you still care for each other. And I want to say that this week or this month, you're going to see that, that you're coming together and you still care. The two of you are still connected. The, stu the, the, the two of you are being drawn to mm. each other. And it's a love that's going to get you there with the Queen of Chalices. She, she just pops up. And this is very beautiful. Okay, like I said, it could be with the Cancer or the Pisces. The boats are very two very different journeys. It could also be for some of you, maybe this is someone you haven't detached from. This could be in a connection, especially if it's been like you've sort of been doing your own things, yet you always find you come back to each other. Like, you know, you have your own priorities or aspirations or goals, or you have different ways of um, conducting yourselves in relationships, but you're actually, whatever it is, whichever way you're doing it, albeit so different, it's actually both moving towards love. It's both moving towards the common goal. And this is the beautiful love card that I'm getting with the Queen of Chalices. So, and notice how she just, it's its a very powerful force. So love is going to be a very powerful driving force for you um, this week and this month. There may be moments where you feel a bit fickle, unsure. Uh -huh overwhelmed possibly yes overwhelmed um but notice just as as this looks like the the fish 
in abstract, it almost looks like he's unleashing something and it's it's popping out here as well. So it's almost like, don't necessarily think it's a release, Virgo. I think it's more to do with some sort of um, opening up. And, and it's powerful and it's scary, okay? It, it's scary with the Moon card. But I think it could lead you to victory with the Six of Wands. Now, this could be a long-distance thing. There's a reconciliation here that I'm seeing. And you'll actually pick up where you left off. Uh, the Moon is the mother. So there's a message here for you to either tend to someone, care for someone, or be a figure of support or of love. There may be someone here who's crying out for your attention, crying out for your help, and they might not be in touch with you directly, but emotionally or intuitively, you're going to come to feel that Virgo. And that's the force, I think. And that's where you're going to open yourself up to them. Um, mm. And they're, they're going to come to see that. So some very powerful messages, Virgo, but we do hope they have been helpful. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to reach out to either myself or Black Feather. I have listed both our emails in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out both our channels we do have lots of february content up for you um, otherwise take care happy valentine thank you guys for your time your attention greatly appreciated we will be tuning i mean tuning for next week we will be checking in with you next week bye for now take care